in this video we are going to discuss all formulas related to laplace transform so what is the basic definition of laplace transform of f of t l of f of t equal to the function f of t its kernel a power minus s t integrated with respect to the time variable t between the limits 0 to infinity that gives function in terms of the parameter s for example Laplace transform of sin 2t function here sin 2t its kernel a power minus st integrated with respect to t between the limits 0 and infinity that gives 2 upon s square plus 2 square. Laplace transform of 1 we know that it is 1 upon s provided that s is positive. Laplace transform of t that equal to 1 factorial upon s power 1 plus 1 that is s square. Laplace transform of t square 2 factorial upon s cube. Laplace transform of t power n that is equal to n factorial upon s power n plus 1 for n is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on. Otherwise you have gamma of n plus 1 upon s power n plus 1 otherwise. <coughs> now what is n factorial? n factorial is defined as n times of n minus 1 times of n minus 2 times of and proceed in this way 3 times of 2 times of 1. 5 factorial is equal to 5 times of 4 times of 3 times of 2 times of 1. 0 factorial value is 1. Here you have a gamma function. Gamma of n is defined as integral 0 to infinity with the difference of x e power x, x power n minus 1 dx where n is greater than 0. Gamma n plus 1 is equal to n times of gamma of n when n is fraction. If gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial if n belongs to z plus and also one can see Laplace transform of various functions and its properties Laplace transform of gamma of plus 1 by 2 is equal to square root pi gamma of value is square root pi and if it is a negative value, gamma negative of also defined that is minus 2 root pi. How we will get this? We know that gamma of n is equal to gamma of n plus 1 over n. According to that, you substitute instead of n minus of minus of plus 1 only gamma of gamma of is the root pi up over minus 1 by 2 became minus 2 that is uh, gamma minus half value and uh, gamma 3 by 2 is equal to half gamma of according to gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n whose value is half root pi gamma of 7 over 2 that is equal to 5 by 2 3 by 2 of gamma of whose value is root pi and now if f of t z of t be two functions defined for t greater than 0 and a and b two scalars l of a times of f of t plus b times of z of t is equal to a times of l of f of t became f of s plus b times of z of s that is called linearity property next change of scale property l of f of a t that equal to L of f of t only f of s but here t is scaling with a that is s replaced with s upon a 1 upon a the result is 1 upon a times of f of s upon a Laplace transform of suppose you have a sin 3t we know Laplace transform of sin t is 1 over s square plus 1 where you have s s replaced with s over 3 and 1 over 3 that equal to 1 upon 3 times of this gives 1 upon 
s square upon 9 plus 1 that gives 1 upon 3 times of 9 up over s square plus 9 that is 3 upon s square plus 3 square that is Laplace transform of sin 3d according to this change of scale property and now one can discuss Laplace transform of elementary functions Laplace transform of sin at that equal to a over s square plus a square for example Laplace transform of sin 4d is 4 upon s square plus 4 square Laplace transform of cos at is s over s square plus a square for example Laplace transform of cos 2d is s over s square plus 2 square Laplace transform of sin h at is a over s square minus a square for example Laplace transform of sin h 3d is equal to 3 upon s square minus 3 square that is 9 Laplace transform of cos h at is equal to s over s square minus a square Laplace transform of cos h 90 is equal to s over s square minus 9 square Laplace transform of t power 1 by 2 that is equal to t at n is of so gamma of n plus 1 over s power n plus 1 of gamma of that is equal to half root pi over s power 3 upon 2 that is Laplace transform of t power 1 by 2 we have discussed linearity property change of scale property and Laplace transforms of uh, some elementary functions now this is Laplace transform of uh, first shifting property Laplace transform of e power a t f of t now everybody know Laplace transform of f of t is f of s where you have s that s is replaced with s minus a that is shifted that so f of s minus a that is the first shifting property for example Laplace transform of e power 2 t sin 3 t that gives Laplace transform of sin 3 t is a 3 over s square plus 9 where you have s s replaced with s minus 2 <coughs> that gives 3 over s minus 2 whole square plus 9 Laplace second shifting property Laplace transform of f of t minus a times of the unit step function u of t minus a that is equal to Laplace transform of only this is also can be written as f of t u of t when t replaced with t minus a we know that Laplace transform of f of t is only f of s and it is shifted by that so e power minus a s f of s this is called second shifting property for example Laplace transform of t minus 3 whole square u of t minus 3 this is e power minus a s that means e power minus 3 s and Laplace transform of t square that means 2 factorial upon s power 2 plus 1 that gives 2 cube that is a Laplace transform of this function when the second shifting theorem is to be utilized there next one Laplace transform of a function that is multiplicated with the t power 1 the result is minus 1 4 power 1 the first derivative of the function f of s now one can see Laplace transform of t into a power 2 t now Laplace transform of e power 2 t is 1 over s minus 2 this is multiplicated by t minus 1 4 power 1 d by ds of this function Laplace transform of t power n f of t that gives Laplace transform of f of t is f of s and it is multiplicated by t power n so multiplication whose consequence is differentiation minus 1 whole power n nth derivative of this function f of s so for example Laplace transform of t power 4 some function e power 3 t there you have a minus 1 whole power 4 fourth derivative to the 
function that is 1 over s minus 3. Now, Laplace transform of a function that is uh, divisible by powers of t. That is to be discussed at this moment right now. Laplace transform of f of t over t that is equal to the division whose consequent is integration. L of f of t is only f of s division whose consequent integration and it is in the s space the lower limit is s and the upper limit is infinity f of s ds only. For example, Laplace transform of sin 2t over t that is equal to Laplace transform of sin 2t is 2 over s square plus 2 square and it is a division whose consequent integral so only one folded integral why because the exponent of t is 1 s to infinity ds. Laplace transform of a function that is divisible by t power n. So here Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. So t is repeated n times so that you have a n folded integral over here. This is a s to infinity, s to infinity and s to infinity these are only n times ds and proceed in this way for ds, ds. These are also n times. For example, Laplace transform of e power 4t over t cube that can be written as e power 4t whose integration is the Laplace transform is 1 over s minus 4. It is a three folded integral. Why because? So it is uh, divisible by t cube s to infinity, s to infinity, s to infinity with respect to ds, ds, ds. Laplace transform of integral over 0 to t f of t dt. So, it is an integration whose consequent is f of s. Laplace transform of f of t is f of s and it is consists integration so that f of s over s. Why? Because the integration whose consequent is a division. For example, you have a Laplace transform of integral 0 to t sin 3t dt. So, just you can write Laplace transform of sin 3t will be 3 over s square plus 9. So, integration whose consequent is over s. So, 1 over s times of 3 over s square plus 9. Suppose the Laplace transform of f of the integration, unfolded integration to the function f of t that is to be discussed in this particular case f integral 0 to t and proceeding this way integral 0 to t n times f of t dt dt these are also n times is a Laplace transform of f of t will be f of s so you have a n folded integral so that that is divisible by s power n for example Laplace transform of integral 0 to t integral 0 to t integral 0 to t e power 5t dt 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 that gives e power 5t whose integral uh, Laplace transform is s minus 5 and you have a three folded integral 1 over s cube occur to the result. Now Laplace transform of y of t is equal to capital Y of s. Laplace transform of y primitive t is equal to s times of y of s minus y of 0. Laplace transform of the second derivative of the function at t is equal to s square second derivative s square y of s minus s y of 0 minus y primitive 0. Laplace transform of y triple dash of t is equal to s cube times of y of s minus s square y of 0 minus s y primitive 0 minus y double primitive 0. These are the derivatives of the function and the whose Laplace transform. Now, Laplace transform of direct delta function L of delta of t minus a power epsilon that is equal to e power minus a s 1 minus e power minus s epsilon over s epsilon. This is the Laplace transform of direct delta function over epsilon. The Laplace transform of only the direct delta function delta of t minus a is e power minus a s. 
and the Laplace transform of a function this is a periodic function whose periodicity is capital T that is equal to 1 minus 1 minus e power minus sc times integral over 0 to t e power minus sc f of t dt.